Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rockthedivine.com. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I want to thank everyone for being very patient. I know some people were chomping at the bit for videos, which thanks, that makes me feel very good, but I have been extraordinarily busy, which is really awesome, but at the same time, it's a mixed bag because when you're really busy with certain things, you can't get to things like this. But anyway, here I am. I'm going to do a video today. And I just want to let everyone know I might spin a little bit because I got a new chair, which is much more comfortable and it spins. It's the little things in life, people. Today, I want to talk about your abilities and why you might not be able to get all the information you want to. So what I mean by that is anyone who's knows they're intuitive or who has been honing their skill set, and even for psychics and mediums who have been doing this for a very long time, you know that you can get information generally, but you can't always get everything, and you might be wondering why. I know for myself, I assumed because I was intuitive, because I was a psychic medium, that I should be able to really get anything I ask, and that is simply not the case, and there's many reasons for that. I also want to say that hopefully this will educate some people who assume that if they get a hold of an intuitive or a medium, that they should be able to tell them anything they ask. And what I'll say to that is that no, they will not be able to, and that's okay. You know, um, there's many factors into play and just because they can't get certain information or maybe they were incorrect in hindsight about some of the information does not mean they are fraud, does not mean they are wrong even though you do need to be careful um, who you talk to. You know, any intuitive you talk to should be mostly correct um, with very, very limited incorrect answers. If it's the other way around, then you might want to find another intuitive. So why can't you get all the information that you want? Okay, first thing, and I wrote it down because if not, I'll forget what I want to say. First factor is it depends on how open your abilities are, how blocked you are. And this is very common early on when you are first trying to um, open your abilities and practice them. You get very limited information. I a lot of times tell my students, it's sort of like when you start going to the gym. Every day you exercise, you lift weights, and slowly your muscles get bigger. But it's not like you lift some weights on Monday and on Tuesday you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. It has to be consistent and practice over time and your abilities have to grow. So if you're feeling frustrated at the little information you're getting or maybe not as detailed as you'd like it, don't worry about it. You're new to your abilities and over time with practice, you will be able to get more detailed information. So that's the first thing, how open your abilities are. The other thing is your current energy level. Your energy affects everything about you and sometimes even the people around you. So if for some reason you are tired or you are ungrounded or you have been doing too much or you're sick, yada, yada, etc., that will affect the outcome of the information you get. You know, the divine channels through us, the guidance and information comes in through different channels that we have. And, you know, when our physical body or even, our, you know, our mental state is sluggish and tired, that energy can just not uh, move sort of with a free flow of energy around us. So that can really hinder your abilities. That's why it's always good to make sure that you are not drained and that you are doing self-care techniques to, to make sure that you are feeling your best. It's also honoring that when you're tired, just don't try to get the information. Um, if you sit down and it just doesn't seem to be coming easy to you, just go, ah, I'll do it later. It's no big deal. When you're feeling better, you'll notice that the energy runs smoother. So keep that in mind. Be patient with yourself. And I'm not patient at all with myself, so I'm a complete hypocrite. But I do know you should be patient with yourself because if you push against the energy or you are depleted, it, it just won't go in your favor no matter how hard you try. So give yourself a break. And here's the big one. And, you know, I don't think this is shared enough and I try to make sure to share it with my students. And it's also why I tell people 
where their skill set is and what type of light worker they may be most aligned with. Certain information that you get um, will be affected by what type of light worker you are. So what I mean is that if you are meant to be a uh, intuitive reader, let's say, but you're not meant to do mediumship and you don't know that, you just assume like a lot of us, okay, I have these gifts. I'm supposed to do all this stuff or I'm supposed to do what the people on TV do, you know. If you don't honor that perhaps mediumship isn't meant for you, the mediumship will be more difficult. And what happens is a lot of times either the information doesn't flow through very easily or you struggle. So it's not that you can't do it. It's just that you might not be very good good at it or it might not be suited for your energy and that's a lot of times why you know people come to me and they say hey I get really great information but then when I try to talk to a deceased loved one it's real limited and they come to me feeling deflated and like they're not meant to be doing this or they're just not good at it and it's not true it's just not where your skill set lies and I think Finding that out and honoring it makes this a lot more fun and it makes it go in your favor a lot easier. Also, the examples I want to use is, and this is for everyone, this isn't just for the people who are like, I'm going to be an intuitive. This is, you know, we're all intuitive to some degree and all of us have divine assistance we can tap into. So I want to remind everyone of that. But, you know, I honor what I can get and where I'm not good at it. And I notice that it takes the pressure off of me. And then the client also understands where my skill set is at so they know what to ask me. Early on, I got so frustrated that I just couldn't get any answer I wanted. I couldn't understand why I was getting really good answers in this sense, but not over here. And it's just where my personal skill set lies. So I can get great intuitive information about emotions, situations going on in your life, when someone asks me a health question, well, I don't usually answer those for clients, but I, I have here and there for friends. Sometimes I can get something, some limited information, and sometimes it's just nothing or it's very wrong. And I started getting really upset at myself because I thought, well, I'm an intuitive. Like, why can't I get that? What I learned to accept is it's not where my skill set lies. I'm not meant to give health information. Now there are intuitives that are really, really good at it. They can see what's going on in your body. They can pinpoint illnesses. And for me, it's just more difficult. I have a friend who is really good at telling you if you're going to have a boy or a girl when you're pregnant. Me? I can't tell you that. Um, and yet, at the same time, I can know very specific, deep information on other subjects that she can't get. So what I want to say is take the pressure off of yourself. I'm not saying if you can't get something, you shouldn't keep practicing. You you totally should, especially early on. But, you know, if it just seems difficult, put it to the side, come back to it later. And if you notice you're just never getting good, clear information on certain subjects, honor that. And also explain to people, it's a chance to educate other people or people you're giving readings for. This is what I can do. This is how I can help you. This is what I'm good at. I think a lot of times people are accused of being frauds or get bad reviews or are not good at whatever type of reading they gave. Not because they're actually not good, but because they were trying to do all kinds of things when really maybe they're only meant to do these things and to do them really well. If you're a healer and you're strictly an energy healer, which is a beautiful thing, but you're also trying to give intuitive readings because you think you're supposed to, or that's what the client wants. And you're getting, you know, you think you're getting good information and the person's like, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, honor that and, and really spend time figuring out what you're drawn to, where your skill set is. And, you know, also that might change. Sometimes you don't think you can get certain information and you're not meant to do X, Y, and Z. And then, you know, as you grow and evolve and up level, um, spirit might say, okay, you're ready for this. This is all about really respecting 
your abilities and where your gifts will really, really shine and not getting down on yourself because you can't get certain things. I always tell my clients exactly um, where I'm good and where I'm not. And I notice the reading goes really well and they then have an understanding that we're not all the same. We are as unique in our abilities as we are as people. And it's okay to honor that. It's okay to say, you know, I just don't get information for that stuff, but I do for this. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps take pressure off of everybody that um, we're not we're not meant to know everything. That's one thing. But also there's certain, certain places we're just going to be really good at, at certain things. And when you start stepping into that and... Um, focusing on it and honoring it, you will really, really, really come to life with your abilities and shine. And you know, it takes you in the right direction of what you're supposed to be doing. What I would say is that for people who are not um, professional intuitives, I guess, or going in that direction, honoring and acknowledging where you do have gifts is really important and what can help make them grow so you can yourself talk to your team. So let's say you think, well, I don't get information for anything, but I always know when someone's a good or bad person and I'm always right. That's a gift. That is a gift. People a lot of times think you have to be giving readings and talking to deceased loved ones and that's not true. You're born with abilities and it is recognizing how you can tap into that to, uh, you know, navigate your life easier. If you always notice that you never get lost, you always know where to go, what direction to head, you don't even need a map, that's an ability. And if you always know what someone's going to say before they say it, that's an ability. So start recognizing the little ways that the divine works through you. And, you know, if you say, hey, I can't get any information, but I can tell you if you're pregnant or not. Well, that's a pretty cool ability, and I think a lot of people would utilize it. I hope this helps, babes. Much love to you. And before I go, babes, I want to say that um, my plans for taking on more mentoring students um, and what I'm going to do with uh, some of the work I'm doing is sort of shifting and evolving as we speak. My spirit guides have been helping me, but they're only showing me little bits of the plan at a time. So I can't really say to anyone, this is what I'm doing. Um, I have very limited time in the spring and summer. So I might hope is after May to take on some mentoring students, but those spots will be limited. If you're subscribed to my website, you will be updated with that information and any spots that come available. My goal is to continue mentoring, but I would also like to help people on a larger scale. And right now the idea is I might be doing some videos on Vimeo where um, you could rent the videos and then have them for a certain amount of time so you could practice your abilities or you know listen to certain subjects I have education about and information about and what have you. The reason I would hope to do that or I'm hoping to do that is because as one person, <laughs> I can only get to so many people and um, since during a mentorship uh, session with me, I do do a little bit of a reading for you because I look into your abilities and things that's going on with you. Um, I can only take on usually two people a day. Um, I could probably do three, but it would make me very tired. Having said that, as you can see, I can only get to so many people and I have so many people wanting to learn. So my hope is to have the best of both worlds, some mentoring with me one-on-one, -on -one, and then also some classes that people can do on their own time. Ideally, it would be great if you could mentor with me once and get information on your abilities and what you are aligned with and what, we, what might be holding you back. And then you could go on and rent some of my classes. But like I said, I don't know. Spirit hasn't told me the whole thing, but that's sort of the direction we're going in. So anyway, thank you very much. Please bear with me. I am trying to get to everybody as fast as I can and um, get you some really great stuff. Much love to you.